If you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Thanks. The first thing you'll notice when you open the box is there's not many components. The first thing you'll have is your Cat5 cable, the box for your sensors, the scale, and a bag of little parts. That's it. Oh, and also the manual. As I said, the box is going to have your sensor as well as the digital readout. And you'll connect those two with the Cat5 cable. When installing the sensor onto the scale, you want to pay attention to the arrow and plus sign that is located on the sensor. Make sure that you're looking at your owner's manual to see what orientation this needs to be in when you install it on your planer. The cell bracket will be installed onto the planer. On the bracket is a small magnet and that will be connected to your sensor. For my machine, I'm using figure two inside of the owner's manual, which has the arrows pointing down on the sensor and the magnet connecting to the top of the sensor. I'll hold the scale in place as I pre-drill for the mounting screw location. Once the pre-drill locations are established, I'll remove the scale and completely drill through the metal base. The bracket is installed onto the box with two M6 by 12 millimeter screws and then I'll repeat the same process for the top bracket as well. And as you can see the magnet is connected to the top plate of the sensor and as you lift your bed the sensor is pulled up by the magnet. Now I'm just connecting the Cat5 sensor. You could do that later if you want. But the next part you gotta do is figure out where you want the digital readout to be located. I'm placing it here because that's where I'll stand as I adjust the bed height. So I think this is a good location for me to actually see the digital readout. And to install this, you're gonna use the smaller drill bit and then screw in the M4 by eight millimeter screws. Now there's also two nuts on the side that allows you to tighten the actual reader. If it's too loose, you can go ahead and tighten that. And then we can connect the Cat5 cable and stick on the cable management clips. And I'll route the cables underneath the bed of the planer. That way it'll stay all the way. Now we can go ahead and calibrate the reader. To do that, I'm going to run a piece of scrap wood through the planer. And I'm going to leave the planer at that current position. I don't want to move it after this. And you want to make sure that your piece of scrap wood is less than an inch thick. You want to cut off maybe three inches or four inches off the end in case of snipe. And then just use maybe about an inch and a half in the middle of the wood. And then I'll take that scrap piece of wood. I'll stick it into the jaw that is located at the bottom of the scale. And from there, I'll move to the actual reader. I'll zero out the reader based off of that piece of wood by holding the on and off button. Then I'll go back to the piece of wood, remove it, close the jaws back, and then tighten the bracket. I'll use a digital caliper to give me the reading on the thickness of my scrap piece. And then it should show up the same on your readout. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a test pass just to see how accurate this thing is. I'm going to run the same board that I previously ran in the planer down to half of an inch. And once I take a reading, you'll see that it is a half of an inch. The cool thing about this readout is when you turn it off and back on, you'll remember your previous settings. The cut that I made before was in absolute values. So I told the readout that I wanted my piece of wood to be half of an inch thick. You can switch the settings to incremental values as well. So let's say you want to just cut a one thousandth or one hundredth off of a piece of wood. You could do that. And as you can see here, before it was 0.5 inch, now it's 0.49 inch because I took one hundredth of an inch off. All right, so that's what it takes to install this digital gauge onto your Grizzly planer. Um, as you can see, it didn't take that much time. You're going to have to drill some holes, but everything's already supplied for you, so you don't have to worry about it. 
It's super convenient. I really love the fact that you can get really accurate with this digital readout. As you saw earlier, I ran the piece of walnut through the planer, got it down to half of an inch, used my digital caliper to take the reading and it was half of an inch thick. Now you can get some variation, of course, in that readout. What I have noticed is it's within, you know, five thousandths of an inch, which I think that's pretty small, five thousandths of an inch. So I think it's pretty good the way that it's already set up. I'm really happy with this so far and I'm super surprised at how accurate it can get. If you're looking to make an upgrade for your planer, I believe Wixie makes this in different models and different lanes for different tools. So really consider this if you're going to make an upgrade for your tools. I think it's a really good purchase and I think it's really worth it. So until next time, this has been Bao with Designcraft Workshop. See ya. If you like this video, hit that like button and definitely subscribe. Thanks.